Hey, it's Jadlin. Did you clock off duty? Uh, yeah, I did. How's, how's it going? Uh, it's going all right. I mean, not all right. And we just had two officers get shot down, but... Oh. Yeah, ambush style, you know, fun stuff. Bro, I'm... who... There was a shit ton. Uh, it was... If you were asking who got shot down, it was Selena and Plumbins. Cop, cop, cop right here. Cop right here, Benji. Give me a minute, give me a minute. I'm all there. Ready? Wait for him to get out. Please. Might be a good time. Might be a good time. Uh, now, now's the time. Yeah. We gotta oh. act now. Act now. Tell them to look on the roof if they resist. Yeah, yeah, what's your right name? Right behind okay. Blue Cage. Right behind Blue Cage. Hey, put, put down Blue. the red. Put down the red. Put down the red. Whoa! Oh, shit. Getting sh- Uh, 78! Rob him quick. Get in Benji's Jeep and dip. Holy shit, that almost went bad. Dude. A from standby, it's gonna take me a minute to flag him. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I, I can get back on duty. It, I'll just let you know, it was a bunch of um, robbery with deadly weapon calls. We had like a bunch of them all across the city at once. All right, sounds good, appreciate it. You okay? Uh, I went off duty and two people got shot. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm telling you, I was off duty for 10 hours on Monday, and five Jesus officers got robbed. Christ. I, like, I swear, you can't, you can't write this shit I, here. Holy fucking shit, Like, it man. just, it, it blows my damn mind. I, Why'd they get shot? But why? Why would they get ambushed? I have, I have no idea what happened. I would like to talk to Nakoda, but I also want to talk to one of the captains that you get along with, and I think us lot should have a meeting about doing press conferences. I would love to do stuff like that and have like Nakoda come speak and have like. Well, let's let's do that. We could literally do that. We can do it every Saturday, depending on obviously what's going on. But like this needs to be something that you know you guys figure out what the fuck you want to say, and I'll arrange the event. Talk to Slacks, see if he's interested in a, cause it, 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 it's gonna be up to the captains and then we'll take it from there. They keep talking about how you don't want to lose the, the, the citizens of the city. You don't want the citizens of the city to not trust the police. But I'm, I, I've talked about this exact thing happening forever. I mean, those 911 calls speak volumes. I, I just, I'm at my wits end. I can't, I just can't do this no more. That bridge is, is, from the sounds of it, is fucking burning, and you guys gotta be quick to rebuild that. I know, and it's just, I, I'm, I'm scared it's actually already gone. That, I'm so, I'm, 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 it's, I think it's very close to already gone. People robbing Maze Bank full camouflage, okay? Uh, anyway, I, I need to get on duty, they, they, they yeah, need help, so. Yeah, you stay safe. Alright, thanks Juno, thanks, thanks for trying to help. I did, I just needed to, I just need a vent. But dude, it's like I go off duty and immediately two people are shot and robbed. Hey, thanks for, thanks for calling me. I was, uh, I just had oh, to get more a, context. Um, yeah. they were shot. They were the only two units down there. It was because of robbery at gunpoint, the 31 Bravos, I believe it, the call. Yeah. 31 Bravos. They were wiped. Like there's their guns stolen, their tasers stolen, and their batons stolen and any ammo they had were all stolen. So both of them are going into a uh, operating room. Oh my fucking God. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm doing whatever the hell I want today. If they want to dap me up or they want to fire me or whatever after I'm just, today's a find out day. You must be advised Bobby Plevins is going to be admitted into the PCU. What happened to Bobby? But Selena Listen. and Bobby were the bush shot. There's blood on the scene and I know who it was. Who did this to Bobby? I can't tell you yet. We have to confirm it. But I think we got Just them. tell me. I gotta tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Tell so me. I know Bobby. He's an ICU. Dispatch copies marking and route. <laughs> what was that? Uh, McNulty status check. It's so good. Not a laughing situation. What? They're good. It was funny. They're good. I'm, shoot I don't, I'm shooting somebody right today, Jeff. I'm sh Before Tsunami, I'm shooting somebody. They shot Bobby. It's too far. Big C. Well, yeah, that's me. What did what, what Bobby say? Does Bobby need me? Hey, firm. Uh, Bobby is in ICU and his emergency contact apparently lives Big C. Yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me. That's me. I'm on my way. Oh, I thought you were off duty. Bobby. Uh, yeah, I got called that two officers got shot when I was off duty doesn't for 10 minutes. On, doesn't mean you have to be on duty. Well, what happens when I'm not on duty? You're not the entire PD call, right, but Doctor I want to remind you that. Name, no, I know that, but I'm just saying, it's we can only respond uh, to Henry one or two actives. Not even two actives, because we don't have enough units. It's a disaster. Uh, I agree, but there's also yourself, and remember to give time for yourself, okay? Did you see the 911 calls? I'm, I, literally, my worst nightmare is happening right now. Need an officer to protect a group six vault delivery. There's a massive group of robbers. Please, if I get robbed one more time today, I will consider turning. Yeah, to I had officers respond to that.
I know, but I'm just saying is this is this is a a I had another Group Six driver told me that was his Joker moment when we couldn't stop another robbery. I'm, I'm telling you, this is this is happening. Yeah. Over okay. We can. Okay, Corbin. I, I want to remind you something. Okay. Yeah. We can only respond to so much. Just, I know. just remember that we it. we cannot be the hero in everybody's story. We can only try so hard. When people are like, "This is my Joker moment," that's on them. They are like they are suddenly making this active choice. To no, freak the fuck out and start hurting people. I understand. But what leads to that is people feeling like, I, I finally, for the first time, have an opportunity to make a decent living as a civilian in this city. And then I feel like I'm not even safe because every time I get out of my car driving Group 6, I'm going to get robbed. That's, That's what it's, I'm worried it's about. Why, it's why I'm trying my damnedest to get as many fucking FTO. I, there's two cadets in queue right now. The FTOs are burned out. People are tired. All they, of them? Some of them. I mean, I think, I think it's clear, right? I mean, I, I know Maple brought up FTO burnout. I don't know if he is, but he brought it up. You know, Archer took a couple of days, and that's okay. Like, it's fine for people to take days yeah, off. Yeah, and that's fine. But, but we don't but we don't have enough, and there's oh, people yeah, out I, there. I gotta keep training. That's... Yeah. Good things don't come easy. N no, they, they don't, but we're running out of time. I've had double-digit officers come to me with the you exact same happy. concern. I'm worried that it might even be too late. Well, I'm not stopping. And, and, and I don't think you should. And I, and I think you're one of the... I'll, I'll be honest with you, McNulty. I, I, I am... I'm, I'm, Corn, I'm just going to put my foot down and be like, people are doom spiraling at the worst of times. Yeah. This is not the time. If people want to take time off, please, for the love of God, do it. Right. But but this this is not the time to just be spiraling down the fucking drain. No, I, and, I, and I understand 133. that. 133. You're being hailed on radio. Oh, there's a lot, dude, it's everybody... Everybody comes to Corn with it. Hey, where's, uh, where's Bobby? Uh, second room to the right. That way. Okay, okay. You took everything else from me. I don't even have a gun are you, anymore. Are you big C? Everything. Yeah, yeah, it's me. Acorwood. Hey, Bobby, are you okay? You got robbed. You got robbed too? Yeah, we got robbed. I think the robbery with the deadly was, was a bait call. We were got shot from, from the roofs. Hey, Bobby, listen. I know you might not be able to hear me right now, Bobby, but if you can, dying is illegal. Okay, you're not allowed to die. If you die, I'm going to take you to jail. Please okay? don't die, Bobby. <laughs> you can't die. No, he's not going to die. Where? Yeah, Bobby, if you die, you're going to jail. Okay? And you don't want to go to jail. That's where criminals go. Just Who to put you into the loop, uh, Coinwood. April um, Lou. He's going to be in here indefinitely. Indefinitely? I don't know when he's going to wake up or feel better. But I can assure you that he is stabilized. He's okay. He's not going to die. He's just in a coma. Okay, you better wake up back up, Bobby. Because if we don't patrol together anymore, I'll be pissed. I'm, I'm no, I listen. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch tonight. No, you're not gonna kill him. But I need that casing. I need the casing, please. Hey, Cornwood, are you gonna give me a ride out of here? Yeah, just give me a minute. That's fine. Do you want a minute with him? Yeah. Hey, Bobby. Like I said, I know you probably can't hear me right now, okay? But remember, you're not allowed to die. Because hopefully soon you're gonna be able to fly, okay? We're going to need someone to fly Air One, okay? And you're the damn smartest police officer we have. And when I say fly, I don't mean fly to heaven, all right? Because that would be dying. You're not allowed to die. To fly airplanes, Bobby. Yeah, you have to fly airplanes so we can find criminals. Is he saying something? Bobby? Wait, his, his jaw's moving. Bobby, wake up. Here, Penny, we, sh we should let him sleep. Penny, no, no. Right. Bobby, <laughs> crying's for losers and it's illegal. <laughs> what the hell? Bobby's playing a guitar. Bobby, stop playing funeral music. That night? <laughs> What's That's not Bobby. 20, still a crusade? Who's playing music? Hey, firm. <laughs> Here, we should let him rest, okay? Bobby will be back soon. We gotta find out what's going on. I, I was off duty for about 30 minutes. We're dealing with a lot right now. There is thank God. Um, thank an incident God. that's happened not thank too long God. ago. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Officers go down, distress, a potential ambush uh, into a call. I'm not sure what's going on exactly. So we're on high alert and okay. everybody's on, uh, yeah, is on edge as far as potential uh, threat. So for the time being, I just need to buckle up, listen to my instructions and follow my lead. Yes, sir.
Hey, uh, you oh, okay? Howdy. Those are the only two. Yeah, sorry. I was just uh here, uh, Penny. I'll, I'll keep talking. You just give me a second. Uh, I'm gonna be chatting with Slacks in the Shift Three meeting. Yeah. Just in regards to morale. I'm not trying to be a, a damn doomsayer here. I, I really am not. That's not. <laughs> that's not my personality, and it's not how I am. But this is when I have twelve different people come up to me. Now everybody has their own version of it, but there's one underlying issue. More. Is the issue the lack of backup? Is that the issue? Essentially. Let's recruit more. Well, we can't really recruit more because we need FTOs to, to recruit more. So we got to have more people be FTOs. I think it's about looking at the sort of FTO system and be like, okay, are we approaching this the best way possible? Oh, we don't want to open up the fucking floodgates and have 400 million fucking people and still no FTOs actually train them. No, no right? absolutely not. I, I, I feel like... I, I, Go ahead. I think it's about potentially not opening up a floodgate, but of opening up a pipe or letting... The, Bit in the jar of the door a bit, you right. know? Right, exactly. Let's find some of these other guys who are, you know, not necessarily a Tony Andrews. But a Cornwood, huh? But a Cornwood. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. We can't We can't have another Cornwood. It's not going <laughs> to, it just ain't going to work. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. I, I just, I started, I, I was just, I was in the, yeah, there's a lot of folks. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, I, sorry. I kind of help it over here a little bit. And um, it's true. They will feel like they're not wanted anymore. Yeah, so. You're right. Just, Especially just, when I come into a shift and then like there's no cadets at all in line, which is fine. I understand I'm supposed to be coming in at my shift. Slack said that if there's no cadets in queue, you can queue. I queued. Everyone got mad at me. They were like, you need to leave. But then I come into my sh my shift when I'm supposed to queue. What, wait, queue, what, what, and now I'm stacked onto cadets. What shift was cadets. that? What shift was that? that? That was shift one, apparently. I, I know I know you, you have all these negative thoughts and whatnot. And I know they, they can brew and they can stew and... I mean that happens to the best of us. It does. I mean even I, even I even I felt like that at some points. You know even today at some point I felt like that. I was I was I felt like I was losing my damn mind. Things will get better. Okay. I don't want to speak for you or anything, but I think if th these are the if this is the way that you feel, I think this is something you should bring up, Cap Slacks. I don't know if I have enough gas to even care enough to talk to him about it. The tank is so dry right now. If I were you, maybe I'd step away for a day or two. Yeah. If you feel like coming around, you're you're more than welcome to. If not, that's okay. Yeah, I'll just too. go. Yeah. I'll just thanks for the talk though, Cornwood. I appreciate yeah. it. You'll be okay. I'll see you later. All right, don't get keep see your head up, all right? Cornwood. All right. All right, we'll see you. Hey, Cornwood. Patty, can I come in here? Hey, yeah, that's fine. I think we're about wrapped up. Is there anything else y'all got to want to bring up? Anything else uh, going on? Chat, should I light the fire? Right. I can light the fire. I'm going to go ahead and step out. Slacks, we got to talk. If it's chain of command, you got to talk to a senior first. I'm the most senior officer on duty. That's true. By age. I just got a point. By uh, age. There doesn't okay. need a clarification there. <laughs> Talk to a senior officer. Okay. Hey, Barrick. Hey, what's up, Cornwood? I have a list of about 12 people that all share the same opinion about the problems that we're having. Do you want me to go through them? Yeah, you should bring that up. Okay. You should definitely bring it up. Okay. Matt Rhodes, Tony Andrews, Jeffrey Bones, Malcolm Nakoda, Kit Archer, Aziz Soldan, Denzel Shasti, Vivian Gray, Anita May. Duncan Fenwell, Alex Suarez, Lucas Lavender. So basically, pretty much everybody that works. Plus, are feelings facts, Lucas? They are in this business because that's I, the I way. Thought, that's I thought the, we're not the Los Santos Snowflake Police Department. What happened to that? We are. We're not. We are. But you, you said we're not. But now we are. No, we are. How so? Liberal snowflake bullshit has caused this whole problem for us. What problem was that? The problem of being so concerned with public image and PR over actually doing our jobs that it has now gotten to the point of being completely burned out. People are just not wanting to show up. We don't have enough FTOs for cadets. I'm not trying to be that guy, but at a certain yeah, point, but, like uh, everything uh, I've said over the last month is, is, is happening literally right now. H how many times can I say it before shit? How many times can we see it happen after I said it within a month? I mean, I can give you my perspective as well, too. I mean, okay. I, I get where you're coming from as far as that, right? But for me, it seems like most folks are doing, are complaining about the problem instead of actually attacking the problem. Okay. Instead of going out there and, and actually helping out, because I can tell you, I've had cadets come to me and say, I've, I've went in queue for five, six hours. Not a single FTO took me. So how Every day, I, people got FTO. If you got the damn cert, you got to help out. You got to put right. the sacrifice. I know. You got to put the sacrifice. Know. You want to do the hours. But if I'm here begging you. I'm on both knees. I'm double barrel ready to go. Look, listen, whatever it takes, let me FTO. I don't give a shit that I got seven daps. Most of them are fake as shit. I'm telling you, I didn't do that shit. I got blamed for it. And everybody knows it. Just let me take these guys out 
and and let them enjoy it and let them actually because we keep why are we even doing academies if all the cadets quit i don't think the cadets are are quitting per se i think some of them are struggling to get time on duty yeah because they can't they can't get out there and i don't blame them because the ftos are getting burned out because we have so few ftos please how about this i'm going to stick out my neck for you one last time as far as this i'll give you the fto sir however it's going to be a short leash any shenanigans i'm going to pull that sword out okay that's great and that's going to help but it's not one person it's not enough right but i'm, I'm giving you the power as well to help out and, and i will i mean no nobody's here more than i am i believe you and that's why i want you to help i want you to feel like you, you have a purpose i want you to feel like you are helping now you're able to make a difference instead of just clocking on hours so i'm going to give you that to your cert if the captain have a problem with it well they can talk, come talk to me about it that is my judgment call based on this because I can tell you've been wanting to FTO for a long time. I'm going to give you the FTO handbook and everything about it. I hope you read it because it's very important. What I ask from you is to be the voice of reason, to be a mentor, to be a role model, to be a teacher, to help these folks become leaders in this police department, to help these folks become the pillars that we want so we can stand on something. Carwood, are you wanting to just help us train? I'm, I'm wanting to do whatever it takes to make this thing work. Train. I, 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 and I will love to do that. And I'm not going to give him an opportunity to do an FTO work. Like I said, I told him that he can have the opportunity to do so. Obviously, he is going to be a little bit on a short leash because he does have a high amount of DAP points. However, the past three days, you have not had any, you know, um, any DAPs. And I'm really proud of you for that. You've definitely turned around ever since that day. And there's been talks about trying to remove DAPs and trying to reduce the amount of DAPs as far as days, right? So there's, there's talks going on to make sure that we push in that right direction, right? And at the same time, training. Now, as far as what Beric said, Flutus, that's exactly it. Think about it. Let's say recruit 10 people for Academy. 10 of them make it, right? Okay. Only five want to FTO in the future. Next is Academy, right? Let's say we get eight. Only four or three will probably want to FTO, right? So it's always going to be maybe half or less that are going to be FTOs or people that want to train. I think we need to have an Academy every two weeks and try to push probably cadets within that time. I think we have a lot of good, positive people who are going to help foundationalize that stuff. And I think that as long as we keep pushing and keeping an open mindset on on things and just, you know, being honest in how we feel things are going, I think we're going to eventually get there. I do, I do think in six months' time, we're going to be in a much better spot. And I, I'm hoping one day we can look back at these times and laugh. Yeah, it's going to take time. Definitely. You know. All right, Dispatch 100, 1042. Good night, y'all. Have a good, have a good night. night. Cornwood's an FTO. Officially, they made Cornwood FTO. Hey. So finally, I can take cadets out and we can slowly start making sure that the department is not falling apart by not being able to fill with cadets. You live through this town for the simpler city high. But all you found was a crown filled land of strife.